tidied up the living room so I feel a lot better. So right now I am in my living room because this is where we're doing a lot of the work and packaging for our orders. Like I have boxes right here and I just can't wait for the day where we move into a warehouse and I can get my living space back. But for now, it's really cool that, you know, we're running the business from our home and all the products are being made here. It's just so exciting to see a project that you've been working for so long on come to life. I'm just so excited to see where 2024 takes us. So I'm just managing our notion and keeping track of our progress for the different things. Let me know if you guys are interested in my notion tour and how we keep things organized for our business. All a notion that's going to be one of my next videos. This carrier thing is so convenient. I noticed that one of the things I really love about our small business journey is getting to know like people from the local community. So before we never really spoke with the person who delivers our mail, but now that you know she's so kind enough to pick up our packages and she even gave us her phone number so we could just text her whenever we have like a pickup. It's just really wholesome to get to know the local community. You really see how all the pieces come together and it just makes me really happy to do what I do. This is the current home office situation. <laughs> so I'm always showing how neat and organized my home office is, but the real truth is that it's not always organized or clutter free, as you can see. Sometimes life just gets in the way. There are so many things to do, and one of the things that you forget to do is actually keep up your space. But I think it's okay. You shouldn't be too hard on yourself if you're not the tidiest person or you just have a lot of things going on in your life right now. As long as you're being healthy and happy, you can always clean up later. So always take care of your mental space first. And, you know, when you're feeling ready, then you can start to organize your physical surroundings. But yes, yeah, speaking of, I really need to organize this area as soon as possible. Feels so good to have my desk set up back. It's a lot more organized and clean. This is what my space looks like today. This is my upcoming collab with Asume. I designed this keycap set two years ago and the novelties were drawn by my sister. It is finally brought to life with Asume and this is coming out late November or early December. And this keyboard is actually the new Mode Loop TKL in Penrose and I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> This color this is our maxi charger stand in vanilla doesn't this just remind you of vanilla this is the zen coaster prototype so it's definitely bigger than the charger because i was thinking it would be really nice for you to put the cup here and okay let me just show you guys something like this isn't that nice yeah, and it's also cool because if you have like condensation from your cup, this part will catch it. But yeah, this is just a prototype that we 3D printed, but the actual coaster itself will not be 3D printed. So you're gonna have to wait and see how we make our coasters. So these are fresh from the 3D printer and this is in our most sold color for the fall sale which is sage beige. It's like beige with like hints of green if you know what I mean. 
Right, so I have all of these pucks that need to get polished and cleaned. So we normally go through different batches of these pucks for the MagSafe charger stands and we just make sure they're all good and inspect them and, you know, pull off any loose strands. I'm trying to get better at showing more of the real real of the business. You know, things that are not glamorous, things that are just real. So for example, my home office being a mess, you know, some prints that don't come off perfect off of the printers. I really want to show and highlight what it's like to run a business, especially when it's out of your home because because it can just get so overwhelming. I wouldn't have it any other way because I love what we're doing and I just can't wait to expand and see where we can take Cozy Lee in 2024. Isn't this color so pretty? I love it. Here are our nine 3D printers and we printed a bunch of stands overnight. So ugh, part of the routine is just to go through these and make sure that they're good and store them so that we can polish them. This requires my right hand. <laughs> These were all printed in one day, which is crazy because we we're able to really triple our production compared to our first run, which I'm so happy about. And these stands printed last night. We're gonna take them off the beds now and run more prints. Do you guys find this interesting? Me showing you behind the scenes of the business? Just let me know. <laughs> That already happened, so. Does that just mean the print was like faulty? Yeah. Should I ask you questions so you can do QA? Uh, you can do that. What is your goal for Cozy in 2024? Ideally, to make more new stuff, since I feel like we're at a good place with the existing stuff. These are all the ideas that we have that never really got to execute on yet. What would you say we accomplished in 2023? Uh, honestly, probably just getting a good workflow in between the three of us. That's a lot harder than it sounds. Alright, all of these stands are ready to be polished, and we have some more here. All of these loose things are the supports that we took off, and they're ready to be recycled. Precious Angel! Precious Angel! Precious Angel! Remember what you did to me yesterday? You almost chopped my face off, Winston! Winston, say hi! <laughs> you wanna play ball? Huh? Huh? Winston? Huh? Winston? I just bought these new Uggs and look how cute they are. I just got these two packages in the mail. Packaging is so cute. This one is stuck in there. 
So I love Baraby things. I have a few of their blankets and their blankets are weighted. So it's really nice when you're sleeping. And I have these like snuggle pillows. They look cute on my couch and really squishy. Ooh. So you're supposed to put this back in this bag. You can then put this in the microwave, I'm guessing. So it wraps around your neck. This feels nice because it's like weighted and it's relaxing. I can definitely tell it's gonna reduce like the tension in my shoulders and my neck. Oh, this is so cute. So this is gonna be really good for cramps or even like your shoulder, like if you're having like back pain or something. Okay, so I just microwaved this for a minute. Oh yeah, Tristan, it's relaxing. It's nice. You wanna try it? It's kinda nice. You like it? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Tristan and I have been obsessed with playing Age of Empires. It's kinda funny because I love relaxing by playing war games. Um, yeah, it's very cozy, right Tristan? Not ready yet. You know the the spies? Um, can that only be built with the landmark or you could build that with other things too? I think it's just the landmark. Oh really? Yeah. What do you do? The farm? It's over, Tristan. Tristan, they killed everything. They took everything from my place, Tristan. Tristan, why aren't you saving me? It's over, Tristan! Tristan! Oh my god. Tristan, they said more! Tristan, we have to start over. 